everyone, welcome back to Murder on the Titanic. So, Miss Greenfield has been accused of murder for not only her lover, her lover Charles, but also for her brother's manservant. And so, of course, she says that she's not responsible. So now we have to even go deeper into the wormhole, or into the rabbit hole, I should say, and trying to figure out um, what's going on. So right now, from what I recall, oh, that is a squeaky chair. Okay. Look at the clues. Okay. Professor Magnuson. The safe is locked. Who knows what secrets it may hold? Unfortunately, we do not know the combination. Okay. Let's see. Huh, looks like a whale. Odd, the stitching on this stuff ammo has been repaired. It feels as though something has been hidden inside, but we'll need a sharp blade to open it up. The palm cord is not too far from here. Okay. I am sure they would have a blade we could use. Okay, looks like we're going off back to the palm court. Where's that? It's right here. <clears throat> it looks like they finally close. They have finally closed. I'll bet there's a knife we can use around here somewhere. There's a sparkly little bag over there. And, ooh, there's a toolbox. Okay, with a hook <laughs> right here. Okay, so we have... Marionette shell, extinguisher, sugar, ornament, and a candle. There's a sugar. There it is. Okay. So we have an oil can. What can we find around here? Oh. The wheels are locked. I won't be able to move it to where I can search it until they are unlocked. Well, do they need some oiling up? Okay, looks like it doesn't need oil, unless I'm not doing that right. There we go. Yes, does need oil. Can I move it now? Yes! And we have a knife! Is there anything else? Okay, back to the map. And back to the smoke lounge. It's kind of tricky to remember all the names of these places. Okay, knife to whale. Ooh, that's morbid. And what do we have here? Note says, meet me tonight in the steam baths. Bring this symbol with you. Charles. RMS Olympic. It appears that Mr. Taylor had something to reveal to Miss Greenfield this evening. He had he lived. Perhaps you may still be able to discover the secret he was to reveal. Okay. So we have something new in our journal. Is this symbol of Titanic sister ship, RMS Olympic, related to the message found earlier, Olympic to die? Okay. Now, here we go. No, oh, that's a fancy door. Hmm, the door is locked. We'll need a key to get in. Perhaps the purser can help us with that. Okay. Let's go see the purser again. Back again, Professor. What brings you to my office this late in the evening? I still want to know what time it is. <laughs> We're in search of a key to unlock the door to the steam baths. Yes, the baths will be locked at this time of night. But Second Officer Lightoller has asked me to extend you every courtesy, so I'll be happy to give you the key. However, as it so happens, the key has been loaned now to another passenger this evening. I believe there is a spare, but I'm not sure where it's located in this mess. Might you be willing to help me search for it? Okay. There's a rucksack of a bunch of stuff, including garlic. Oh, which is one of the things you need. <laughs> Let's see. Pendant, angel, horseshoe, shamrock, photo, cam photo camera, and a hammer. Okay. There's the camera. There we go. 
Now I remember! I put the key in my safety box so I wouldn't forget it, except now I can't recall the solution to this puzzle, which unlocks the box to reveal its contents. Can you give it a go? Okay. Ah, oh, here we go. It's another one of those, get the ship, get this ship to here so we can unlock the box. Okay. This is definitely going to be way more tricky than the previous ones. Okay. Okay, there we go. And free sailing! There we go. Ah, oh, good! And here is our prize. The spare key to the steam baths. Okay, back to the map. And to the steam baths. That would explain the nice door. Okay, so we have the key. Let's have a look about. If Mr. Taylor was planning to meet Ms. Greenfield here, perhaps it, has, it was because he had hidden something inside the room. Maybe it's behind that big sparkly door! There's a lot of stuff in here. Ah, there it is. Whistle! Okay. We have a key for something. This weight chair should sink when you sit on it, but something seems to be jammed inside. Ah, is that a keyhole? Does it need this key? Panel key. Ah. Interesting. These are blueprints of Titanic. What secret could they hold? Why would Mr. Taylor have hidden them in the steam baths? Is this creation of steam somehow involved? Is the creation of steam somehow involved? It appears the radiator is broken. We'll need to repair it to create a steam cloud. Okay. Let's see. Ah, it's a valve. Radiator valve. Pipe and a valve are missing. Put the valve on right now. Okay. Now I just need a pipe. There's the pipe! Okay. Olympic! The steam reveals that these plans are not a Titanic, but rather her sister ship, the Olympic. How is this connected to the other messages Mr. Taylor left behind? I saw the ship's architect, Thomas Andrews, in the reading and writing room. If he is still there, he may be able to shed some light on this odd situation. Okay. Is something new in our journal? Why was Charles Taylor hiding blueprints of the Titanic sister ship Olympic? Okay. Back to the map. And here we go. Reading and writing room. I was hoping we might find the architect of this great ship, Thomas Andrews, here in the reading and writing room that he might be able to help us interpret these blueprints, but he appears to have retired for the evening. Oh, hello again, Professor. Did you ever locate Sophia to deliver your message? Yes, Miss Miller. You've been very helpful this evening. Well, then, I wonder if I might ask a favor of you in return. I came inside here to get a break from that dreadful cold outside and warm my bones by the fireplace, but as you can see, the fire has gone out. Would you help me restart it? I'm sure we can find what we need lying around the room here. Normally, I said yes, but we're in a bit of a hurry tonight. If I could just warm up, I'd offer, I'd offer to share a bit of gossip I heard, I learned tonight regarding Sophia's brother. I think you'll find it interesting. You drive a hard bargain, Miss Miller. I suppose we could spare a few moments to help you out. I agree that it is quite a, it is quite chilly tonight. Ah, we finally have a clock. It is almost um, 2 a.m. Okay, that is late. Okay. The fire is completely out and there are ashes clogging the fireplace. I need to sweep them clear. Okay, there's some logs. I need to clear the ash from the fireplace before I add new logs. There's a little broom. Come on. Sweep. There we go. I need a shovel to get the ashes in the bin. Where is the... The spade is missing! Okay. 
Where did you go? Ah! There it is. Spade. Put it in the bin. Ah, come on. There we go. Logs. There. Well, we've plenty of firewood, but nothing to help to start the fire. I saw the steward earlier this evening. He used hot coals to help ignite the wood. At this time of night, the only place we're likely to find any hot coals is the galley. Okay. Looks like we're going to the galley. We meet again, Professor. Oh, his name's Bernardo. We meet again, Professor. What brings you to the kitchen after hours? I was just fixing myself a snack before I'm off to bed. We're hoping to obtain some coals from the kitchen stove, so restart the fire in the fireplace in the reading and writing room. This is highly irregular. I don't think the head cook would allow it. It's imperative that we restart the fire, Bernardo. Well, perhaps if you could help me with the problem, I could overlook it at this one time. Is it a puzzle? You see, I have 12 coins that I have been given as tips from tonight's patrons, but I believe one of the coins is a counterfeit. It will not weigh the same as the others. Can you help me determine which one is a different weight? Okay, there are the coins. Measure. I need to weigh the coins three times to... Okay, what, was the, what were the instructions? This is a tricky one. I need to take notes so that each weighing narrows down at which coin is different weight. Okay. This one's lighter. Okay, that's how I was going. Okay. Bravo, Professor. You and your assistant are without peer and have done me a great service. For that, I will allow you to get your coals from the stove. Okay. Let's be smart about this and grab... Okay. Let's open the hatch first. The stove is hot! You'll burn your hands without a pair of oven mitts. Unfortunately, the last pair are probably left at the veranda and palm court earlier this evening. We should try looking there. Okay, palm court once again. And... Oh, that was, those are what those were. Okay, back to the kitchen. Okay. Oven mitts. Grab this. Get some. Oh, come on. There we go. Finally. Where do I put this? Oh, here we go. Excellent. Now you can carry the coals to the fireplace and restart your fire. Oven mitts. Pick this up. There we go. Carrying around hot coals. Back to the reading and writing room. Okay, I'll leave it off here as we're about to restart the fireplace. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you later. Bye!